Hi there, this is uh, just another example of the uh, in equilibrium problem. So um, what we have here is we have a, a truck that's 3,000 pounds itself and with a additional 300 pound crate in its flatbed. And basically if you look at the back tire that's labeled A and the front tire labeled B. Um, what's the forces at each of these tires? Um, and First of all, what we need to do is we need to, what I would do is I would just lay out um, a quick free body diagram. I mean, it you could actually model the reaction forces just to, like vector in, in vector statics. You could actually model this just as a beam. So it's actually the same thing as our beam problem. where you'd have, I don't know, you'd have a force here that would be going up, this would be like BY, and then you'd have, uh, you know, your your AY over here, and some G, or some 3,000 pounds right here, and some 300 pounds right here. Using all the, uh, the the same techniques as we have, I mean, you can you can come up with almost any problem just using these same techniques. What you'll find is ay plus by minus three hundred minus three thousand. Okay, yeah, but you knew that you're going to have two unknowns, so most of you would have just hopped right over to the moment. I'll just do it moment at a again. Why not? So basically, the crate itself is going to be only four feet away, according to the picture above. So four feet times negative three hundred. It's negative three hundred because it's a force going down. All right. You add to the next one. You have eight feet to the centroid of the car. So minus three thousand pounds. And then plus what seems to be nine feet, and you add just by in there, so that'll equal zero. And then you just work out the math, which when you work out that math, it it really does just that, and you can solve for by which is the same thing as FB by the way because there's no X there's no X components so FB um, when you work all that out that's just going to be 2520 pounds so what you need to do is you just need to take this result and plug it back into our y direction force function which is going to be fy is going to be ay plus 2520 pounds minus 300 minus 3000 equals zero and then when you work that out you have your F of A, essentially, right? Which is going to be 780 pounds. Really quick. Really quick, once you start doing it. Once you start looking at it in these simpler terms. The key to doing it really quick is this free body diagram. Always. You will n never find a problem that you'll be able to do much quicker without a free body diagram. So you might as well do one. It just helps your thoughts, helps you collect your thoughts. So anyway, let's move on.